guys. Hi. Sorry, welcome back to our YouTube channel and we do apologize we never upload for cold days. I think two, three days, mommy. I know, I'm working. Yeah. We're Not very, well. very, very busy. <laughs> you know, you know from previous vlog we have, we have a couple of children who are sick. Yes. So <laughs> I'm still catching up my sleep. <laughs> I know. And mommy is working. She just came home as well from work. So as we promised, we need to do the video. <laughs> so by the way, so apologies again for very late upload to this one. This is long overdue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so by the way, tonight we're talking about uh, what mommy? Our engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our very simple engagement night. And during that time, I could pop up some pictures on our engagement night. <laughs> yeah, we we never had a video. We have video, but it wasn't a like you know like fifteen years ago. It's like a tape. <laughs> yeah. Like a VHS one, not VHS. One, it's more <laughs> recording tape. At the time, it was like the and best I, time, right? <laughs> I couldn't find. I couldn't find the, the thing. Tape. The tape. We. I have loads because during that time, I have. Uh, I have. Uh, what do you call it? A recording <laughs> camera. <laughs> so I have lost the one of file down. I couldn't find them. It's somewhere on like our Philippines number? Yeah. Somewhere <laughs> on our boxes. Somewhere in our boxes in the loaf or I I don't know. Boxes so, in there somewhere. Somewhere in there. So we can pop up some videos. Uh picture, sorry. So we're gonna discuss about the one when we can so shall we start mommy? <laughs> so we get engaged after on I think in just before my 21st birthday. No, that was your 24, 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. We got engaged on your 21st birthday. Yeah. So the 1st of May, we got engaged. And it was her birthday as well. So, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, <laughs> That's how we told everyone. Huh? That's how we told everyone. I showed the ring and I think everyone was so shocked because we've just been together a couple of months. <laughs> yeah, we just we just boyfriend and girlfriend for a couple of months <laughs> and then we got engaged on Julian's twenty first birthday. Twenty first birthday, mm. so I bought a ring from <laughs> Oh, what do you call that jewelry shop, Jin? I I don't know. It's, I think Ria Ria Ria's Ria's jewelry, jewelry, jewelry or yeah. Something, yeah. It was it was Anne Street? Yeah. Thirty thirty pounds that money. I know. Very cheap one. I was cheap. <laughs> it was it was it was cheap, but um, I have an explanation for that one. I I cannot afford to buy expensive one, and during that time, Julian never really demand expensive one, and we know. Tell you more about me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not. A, I don't have ear pierced. I'm not a big jewelry person. <laughs> so. I, I bought an engagement ring from a jewelry shop, but it was not it was on sale. Tonight. I bought it for <laughs> it was on sale fifty percent off. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought it for thirty pound or over thirty pound. So it was really cheap engagement ring. It was not fancy. It was not no. expensive at all. And during that time, um, Jenny never really complains. During that time, it's just no, we're just happy to not man. Yeah, we just we just. So love up, <laughs> the, the, I, I guess. We're just uh, happy. We're just happy, and I'm not comparing to to other women that really demand for expensive uh, uh engagement ring like over hundred pounds or even a thousand pound even engagement then. ring. So we we she was happy to receive that one. Yeah. I don't know that, where is that engagement ring, <laughs> somewhere in the boxes as well, because when Julian uh get pregnant. All her fingers are swollen, so she needed to take out all her jewelry because yeah. it is stuck all the time. And many times stuck on her fingers, so we take it off, and it is swollen because during pregnancy. And well, during my pregnancy, I got the undertow thyroid gland, so yeah, so I can't wait so fast. Julie, when <laughs> when we get engaged, Julie was pregnant already, isn't it, mommy? So, no, no, it's not. Listen, I my. On my twenty fifth birthday that night, we got pregnant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, <laughs> so on on her twenty first birthday and our engagement night as well. Uh, that's the time we made Jay. So that was the night that we made Jay. Um, it was not really fancy. All my friends in the house and loads of Filipino friends 
came to help out to cook Filipino foods and prepare some That's amazing. small decorations and yeah. everybody was still working and came, yeah. came to the good. house and have a wee drink and have a chat and we took some pictures and it was a really simple one yeah that is good so a, a night after the engagement what, what did you told you mom and dad i can't remember exactly when i went to gallon to my mom and dad like no the following day of that engagement i don't know when you went home did you told them we were engaged oh yeah <laughs> How was their reaction that time? They, I don't think they thought we were going to last. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's true, that's I true. I can't remember, my mum will remember properly, oh my god, so long ago. Yeah, that's true, because most of my friends and Julian's friends... No one thought we were going to last. They never thought that we, we get in ourselves into a very quick relationship and get married so quick. Um, mm. oh, there's a lot of things to, to consider. Uh, well, you were going home. Yeah. We were only on a one-year working visa. Yeah, that's true. I have one-year visa. It's either I could renew it KFC another five years or or Pie stay. for a residence. Yeah, the, yeah, it was it was not complicated at that time. It was really easy to switch. It was switch. so quick. It was it's really <laughs> easy to switch uh, the visa. Home office so. is not strict at time. Yeah, it's not strict. So, uh, I did you get the residence leave to remain? No. The second time? No, the first one after I get married, my visa and KFC already expired, so I switched into spouse visa. Oh, right. And then yeah. that's two years spouse visa, and after two years, the one I applied the for permanent me. residence visa, oh. so PR. And then after three years, I applied for my citizenship. So it was just three years, very quick one citizenship right away. So it was not expensive. So going back to our engagement night. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone in our circle of friends, but not all, they, they really judge our relationship that it will not last because it was yeah. so quick, very quick. But in my mind and Julia's mind, uh, we know, we're, we, we know we're ready and we're loved up. I know Julie at that time we get engaged, she was only 21 years old, so very quick one. Mm -hmm. Very, very quick on just months, 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 and then we get Well, we got engaged in May the 1st, the May the first, 2005. And then we got married on the 18th of August 2005. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so our visa do you remember our your visa only came in and it was five weeks? And then we have to book it because we need to get married before September before you go home. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, we, yeah. I just told my mum, I'm like, Hi, mum, I'm getting married in five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, what she said, Oh my god, she was just like, Are you sure you want to do this? You know, yeah, are you sure you're gonna be happy? You're not gonna make a mistake? And I just follow my heart, yeah. It was really, really quick. Uh, you know, I think for me, looking back to that time, yeah. you would never measure the relationship how long or how short you're you met each other, you know, each other, yeah. but you once you knew yourselves, yeah, that it's like this is the one. Do you know what I This is the right like, time. Guys, especially in the Philippines, you, you watch the you watch the love story in Japan where you they talk about the red ribbon. You know? <laughs> do you know that one? <laughs> what do you call that one? I am always listening to the song. Oh, um Janela Salvador and something Oh, I love that movie. The son of Francis Magdalena. So it's we watched that movie that's one. The one the man yeah. is so grapple. The one at the start like bad boys grapple. Yeah, I think that's, I forgot his name, Magaluna, the fa family name is Magaluna. Yeah, so we watched the movie, that's what she said. She said, oh, that's true. If it's your destiny, it's your yeah. destiny. <clears throat> it meant to be, meant to be. No matter what other people question that. So we got married on the 18th of uh, August. August 18th of August 2005. But the process of that one, it was very, very quick. We get engaged on the 1st of May. Yeah. Uh, 2005, we get married on the 18th of... I thought I am pregnant, you know, like the 6th of June. Yeah. And I phone you and Cassie. It's because I find it in Cassie and work at Cassie and he's working at Cassie and then I phone and I just phone him and said, Oh, you know, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I don't think he believed me. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, like, mm hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah, because deep inside my deep inside myself, I know I was happy. Yeah. But like so, so, so quick, so sudden and so quick. Wow. Everything. Probably weren't well, exactly really careful. Yeah, very, 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 very quick everything. But I'm so excited. I was excited too. So excited. Say, so, wow, 
I'm a dad now, hindi pala kabaog. Especially, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. especially when he finally it's a boy first. He's so... <laughs> so, so happy. Very yeah. happy. Yeah, that's true. So, when we get married, where did, where did you bought your, your dress? Uh, Monson. Monson or Zara? No, Monson. Yeah. So, everything, everything on our wedding is on budget. Yeah. So, Julianne bought her dress in Monson. You're in Debenhams. Uh... I bought in David Hams. This is the funny bit in David Hams. So Julian bought her dress below 100 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> but me bought mine over to I remember the exact amount 265 pounds. I said, what? Okay, it's only like 80 pounds or something. 265 because I had to buy a new suit, new shoes, new shirt, mm -hmm. a new tie. That's a lot. David Hams is expensive. That's the that 265 already on sale that time and and i said <laughs> when we went to the the counter or the till and the, the cashier said 265 I said what and julian said no you need to buy because we need it in a couple of days <laughs> you need it no you don't have choice we cannot rent out a new suit for you because you don't have size yeah mostly of the, not really rent it here anyway if you rent it out it's <laughs> yes so that she, she said that's the only one you Okay, that fits you, yes. Okay, you, you were with me. And you were I with me. So. Ice? No, just you and me. That time. Okay. So I and I said myself, wow, my my almost one my one week we just gone <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for a suit. So I I bought it and I bought it. I was not in my head. Oh my goodness, could I use it and refund it again? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but like, no, I never. It was just my in my head. So so expensive. I said. I could not believe that's so expensive a suit, a shirt, a tie, and new shoes and Especially socks. Especially back then, that's so expensive. Yeah, but 265 now is cheap. Mm -hmm. That kind of suit, yeah, for after 15 years, over 15 years. Mm -hmm. But that time, 265 was expensive, expensive. already. So, wow, that's my. Mm -hmm. But that suit, I'm able to use it when I switch work. So when I switch work to what you interviewed in no you didn't no no I didn't worry about when I switch work to okay. new to accounting firm to practice my my degree so and I able to use that one on my first day I used that one yeah so I said wow I could no I could recycle the one then I use it so mm -hmm. I just bought a new additional shirts because you need to have a new shirt every day because you cannot recycle mm -hmm. your shirt because <laughs> yeah I mean so when we get married. <clears throat> Julian, I I can't remember. I, I never spent. Yeah, I don't know. Julian explained to me that here, uh, when someone get married, is that right? What? I I never spent money on our wedding. You your family spent it, so no. Yeah. Yeah. So Julian's parents and relatives. The only spent thing we paid the... for was ball, was the reception, in Baldy and Melus, but they gave us the money back. Yeah. Good yeah, so and... when it comes to food, because the food is not really as fancy as well. And the car line pay for food. Yeah. And then the cakes. Um, it's mommy and daddy. Simple decorations, sound system. It's the DJs and the car line. Yeah. Everybody just tipped in. Yeah, so I, I never, I, I, can't, I can't remember if I, I never contributed no one. So I was so shocked. Wow. I never, I never even spent money for the one. And then her dad booked uh, two nights. Honeymoon? <laughs> yeah, we booked a hotel for us as well. I never spent as well, so her dad paid Can for it as well. No, no, I never took it. We were so tired at time. We just, when we ha we went to our hun no, honeymoon, like we just four, four and a half sleep and the whole now. day and then wake up, have a breakfast, go to the pub or the bar and drink and then go back again to our room, just sleep, sleep because during that time, Julian already pregnant as well. So, I'm so almost five months pregnant. So she was pregnant. She's always sleepy and sick. <laughs> sick. Or, or, or. That's when we travel. So, like, so, so she bad. always sick. So that's why we stay in in our hotel room, just sleep the whole day, mm -hmm. and they just get up for lunch or dinner. So her parents and her relatives spend all the, the wedding the money for the wedding. So it's not no, really. We got loads of money as well. Yeah, and then we. Most of our presents are all monetary, so mm -hmm. that we could start up our family, find our own space, our, our own place, rent out our place, and some stuff to help to buy the newborn baby and so stuff. You know? Yeah. So it was, it was, it was, it was no, good. You wanted us to like, move in with Filipinos, and but yeah. it's like if you have your 
in um, in Northern Ireland here, like if you have a baby, you don't really share house like you know yeah. you have your own space. But I'm glad because you're a very quiet person. He doesn't really drink, you know, and lots of them when we're on drinking it enough. Yeah, that's true. So, but the, the I think the after honeymoon we came back to my shared accommodation, isn't it? Shared accommodation means we're several eight people in the house. So yeah. we came back in there. Oh, and we had the tiniest room. <laughs> we we got the I got the tiniest room. Mm -hmm. So it like But it's a room in our own, so that's good. A tiniest room just when you go in, there's it's one single bed there's bed. It. And just one <laughs> two 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 uh two feet mm -hmm. from your bed so. to the door. When you open the door, it will hit the the bed, so you need to squeeze it in like that and go in. So and me and Julian need to sleep in that tiny single bed. Just us. So <laughs> me and Julian share with a single bed, so we had to lie down and no, not moving at all. So we we stay in there for a couple of days until we find a house. Yeah. So we found a house. Yeah. And that's the time during the time only very very cheap, three hundred seventy five for two bedrooms. So we move. No, the first house is only two hundred seventy. Is it two hundred seventy? The next one was three fifty. Okay, so to, <laughs> so it's very very cheap. Mm -hmm. So we move from the west. We move to the north. Yeah. So it's a bit far away now. Yeah, so we, we live move, with... and then we move to when we move to that area. We we found out there's a lot of Filipinos in that area as well. That I nurses know, that that works in the hospital and work in the nursing home. There's a big nursing home right opposite to our. To our house, not house, uh, it's our house, yeah. There's a one in there, the loads of Filipino nurses walking to the one. It's a massive nursing home, so we we moved into that area. I said, Oh, that's okay because a lot of Filipinos, so and then we meet new friends mm -hmm. that's older than us, older than us, and then we settle so well in there. So it was, yeah. it was in my head, it was not hard, it was so easy, it was so smooth. Everything, everything goes smooth, yeah. like from our wedding day. To our honeymoon, to moving in together. Yep. Moving in together. That's it the, was just like, it just went in there. The only thing that, uh, when the first, <laughs> the first year so first year of our marriage, it was a bit hard, because when we live together and no one share with you, just you, and your wife together, so that's the time you see each other. The differences. When I see differences, the differences of culture, the differences how the way you let's say because because it's hard. I'm pride knit. I'm hormonal. Mm -hmm. You're more like forcing me to eat vegetables and you know like yeah, it's, it's just different food. You know the year. Yeah, because Julia, when Julia was pregnant, I always cook uh, sabaw or like, milaga or sinigang that more on. Healthy sides and Julian. And I this, did, like, Julian doesn't want that one, but I, I did it for myself. Yeah, I, during that time, I had to explain to her that just do it for 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 the sake of our baby, for Jay, because yeah. you need to have a balanced diet and healthy when it comes to things, so that Jay will come out healthy and you're healthy too. So she's able to start eating that one, yeah. and then that time as well, we always cook rice. <laughs> And Julian sometimes oh, is it always rice? So there's a lot of things to consider. That's the time you see It's a big difference. It really was. Yes. So Julia is more on bread, potatoes. Me, yeah. I cannot live most Filipinos cannot live without rice. Yes. Yeah, just I would definitely I adjust it more for you than you yeah. do for me. We definitely have more rice than chips. Yeah. So because Julian that time she 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 was pregnant at that time, so she's not she you took your maternity very early, isn't it? Because yeah. your pregnancy was very sensitive, so when she stay at home, she always when I come home to the house is always spotless, very organized, spotless dinner cook. So she always cook. She tried her best. Mystic. She tried her best. Always, I always have a sabaw or nilaga or yeah. uh, or uh, a sinigang. Was one of my favorite sinigang. Ones and, pork. Yeah, and then she will cook a uh, uh, salmon one because salmon is my favorite one. Yeah, so she will cook salmon one. And it even was even just like even the simple one like you know bacon. What yes. would you say bacon is in the Philippines? Yeah, bacon, yeah. Bacon. bacon. Mm -hmm. Like bacon with like um rice with soy sauce and then like a wee oniony dip, like yeah. you know. Yeah, we sit that, it's yummy, like we we I I, I, would, I would admit I miss that it. Like, we, we struggled as well the first year. It was it was a bit hard because that's the year of adjustment. 
So There's you a adjust. lot of things. I remember the first time I told you you're stupid. But like, and I'm like, oh my God, you're so stupid. Like, you know, oh, in a I funny know. way. And he said, I went to university. <laughs> <laughs> I have a degree. And I was just like, oh my God, I didn't mean it that way. Like, so <laughs> there was definitely a lot of things that we had to, you know, you were very serious. And I was just more like, ha ha, the laughing, you know, yeah. laid back burn, you know, joking one. So definitely. It, it was, <laughs> it was, it was hard because so during that other. time, yeah. I think I think uh, if we overcome the hardships and uh, trials because we know deep inside ourselves we love each other yeah. and we know it is only a trial that we need to overcome. Yeah. There's a lot in my mind. There's a lot culture-wise and uh, communication skills. Sometimes because you, I, I have to be honest during that time as well. In, if you speak to someone else in Filipino, you're able to express yourselves. Yeah? yeah. But when you speak in, th in English, you have second thought first. I know you can speak not too fluently, just averagely. Yeah. But your, your feelings, you can, it never come out. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you're frustrated. You yeah. have to explain more and end up <laughs> a different I way. <laughs> uh, a different way. And then you try to explain again. That's not what I mean. This is what I mean. Yeah. So it, it's hard. So there's a lot of things to consider. And then uh, when it comes to food, you have different set of uh, preferences. And Julie would have different uh, preferences as well because she's not used to rice. She's not used to always fish or any vegetables all the time or things like that. So Julie would prefer uh, it's either potatoes Chippy. or chips or bread sort of stuff mm. or soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so me, I can't, or I beans. can't, or beans, mm -hmm. or bread, I can't survive the one, I would ask all the time, can could you rice? cook rice? Instead of bread, can I have rice? <laughs> <laughs> could you cook rice, if Julianne cooks something, I always put rice on it, so everything we eat, there's always a rice, mm -hmm. and that that's the hard bit, and I had to explain to Julianne that Filipinos cannot survive without rice, you like, need to, <laughs> I have to have rice, so that's why we, that that it's a process of how we compromise each other we meet in the middle yeah. and that time julian start learning to, okay i'll cook you like this i cook rice so all I the make time like one night, and, then, night, yeah. and, night, and then and we start trying like and then when you when you always cook rice there are more carbs on it so you put starting putting on weight yeah. <laughs> yeah because the food julia's good because in here it's well babe you know compared to philippines you eat a lot in here yeah. Isn't that? Mm. That's true. Yeah, that's... You have, you know, the your three meals a day and then maybe you have snack before you go to bed. Yeah. You know, you have always snack during the day too. It's just, it's just the way it is here. It is. You no, know, you have coffee and like a wee bun, like a wee bakery and then you'll have like your breakfast and then you'll have your lunch. Yeah. And then maybe in the afternoon a coffee and a wee bicky. Yeah. And then later on it's dinner time have your dinner and then maybe again like coffee hot chocolate or a beer <laughs> julian julian i admired julian that one during that time because i was so skinny and julian always feed me a lot of, i think i eat five times a day yeah <laughs> i have a snacks all the time she will prepare snacks for me you have two dinners for dinner like he'll come in with one plate of rice mm -hmm. and then you know whatever i make and then the next thing he will go back and it fill again yeah, or yeah. before we go to bed, I know it is it's a wrong practice, <laughs> but it's a <laughs> really, <laughs> really, really bad practice. But Julian would make me a hot chocolate or something. Or and, hot milk. Or, or hot milk. Needle like, need one or Milo, something like that. She would make me one, that one, and then give me a big biscuit or BK. And then that's it. That's life is here, so like, she, she always look after me. And, and then, because <laughs> for me, yeah. That, that's the treat I like Julianne most. Always to look after me and mm. vice versa, I look after her as well. When yeah. Jay when Jay came to our lives, everything changed. So we adjust so quick. Yeah. Like we, we, we're we, ready for it. We're ready for it and everything yep. compromised things and the adjustment so quick. Working. So it, make, it, make, it made our family compete Dead. and everything functions so well. And Julie works, I work. So everything, we just switch. We just switch as well. So everything okay. So guys, 
That's it. Nothing really special on our uh, uh, engagement engagement party. It was really simple and straightforward. And as what Julia said, when she told her parents about we getting married in a couple of months. No, five weeks. Five weeks time. Five weeks time. So. So we had to get a visa if we get married. So. Yeah, because my visa in KFC will expire soon. It's either I have to renew. Or when I have to renew, I have to sign another five years contract, is not? And spend another money again to renew for that one. And but what meant you when I had to went home? Yeah, I, I had to exit. Yeah, he had to exit and then come back again to sign a new contract. Which would never work out. But I during the time as well, I I was excited to go home and sign a new contract. But Julie doesn't want and uh, everything because it's more practical for us just stay. I just stay in the UK because it's not money wise. Is pregnant. No, it's not money wise as well. It was not. I'm gonna waste money when it going back. Remember? Mm -hmm. And then fly again, come back, and sign a contract, another money coming out. If I stay here and continue working, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money. And Julian is. And there's no assurance. If I gonna come back, it will take months before I could get another contract because of paperwork and renewal visa. And then what if Julian already gave birth that time? I'm not able to see my son, no So that, there's a lot of things considered that time as well. Oh, we made the right choice, but... Yeah, so Julian, Julian decided, and Julian's, I think it's you or including family as well, decided it's better for June to switch switch uh, visa. Like, before the visa expired, you get married, get your approval, and apply for a visa, and yeah. then you spend less money. I, sp I remember I spent only £100 that time. Mm -hmm. For the visa and then got everything and then sorted i don't need to exit and sign a new contract and i spent a lot of thousand of thousand of pounds that time so it was you meant to me to have a civil wedding huh we never had a big wedding in church no yeah that's right we never get married to the church we get married to city hall we yeah. forgot that <laughs> so we get married to city hall that's civil wedding quick. yeah civil wedding because at church that time you had to book it yeah. You need to undergo for training and things and I only have <laughs> I only have three months that time and my visa will expire so not? No, it's September. May You only had a one year working visa. We got mine on eighteenth of August. No, we had May, June, quick. July. May, June, July, August, September. That's so far away. No, when we get married in, in We had to get a permit, like a resident thing for us to get married, remember? Yeah, we had to wait for it. Yeah. And we're so excited when they come, we're jumping up and down for joy. Yeah, and then we right. were able to book our wedding. Because we can't book it without that certificate to say you're allowed, we're allowed to get married because you're not from here. Yeah, that's right. You need to get an approval from home office first to get, to married. get married. And if you're not having that one, city hall or churches will not allow you to get married. The churches is years to wait this year. Yeah, it is. And you have to undergo training as well, like seminars. Mm. Yeah, because especially if you go to the Catholic uh, church, you have to... To attend, be attend, able to attend yeah, the church and a lot of requirements and if I do that one my visa will expire it mm -hmm. means I have to accept first and I will end up for me to sign a new contract in KFC yeah because we're not married yet so that's why I have to go back to my employer KFC yeah. and sign a contract that time the, the contract the next one is five years one and it will cost you two thousand or five thousand pounds uh, it was very expensive did you pay monthly didn't you about no, we, the the company had to pay some, and you had to pay some as well. I know, but you paid the that. The second one, the second one, the second contract. But the first contract one during my time, and we never pay anything. It was free. So that's it, really. Yeah. So guys, it is a bit long video. <laughs> it's took all over the place. <laughs> all I know, because you keep remember, getting memories, and remembering things. Yeah, and then we're tired, so it's already one o'clock in the morning. Julian just came home from work, so we do apologize. This <laughs> video is just all over the place, but I will pop up some uh, pictures of our wedding and some are throwback pictures. <laughs> I could just throw in there all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you very much for watching for this video, mm -hmm. and I hope you enjoy. We hope that you enjoy our video, and it's a bit. All over the place and guys don't forget to put a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel as well and ho hit that notification bell so that the next time we post a video you're the first one to know and comment down below as well 
guys thank you very much and bye bye bye, bye. cheerio